Hextech Crafting and Loot is a new system in the game that will allow you to earn, craft, or purchase new content at large discounts or even for free. Now, let's start with the basics. When you or a pre-made partner earns any S rank through Champion Mastery, you'll acquire a chest for the champion you're playing. For example, you played Tristana and only got an A+, but the friend you queued with got an S on Teemo, so you'll earn a chest on Tristana too. You can only earn one chest in a game, so even if you and your pre-made partners all get S ranks, you will still only get one chest. But if you don't own the champion and are using it on free rotation, you cannot earn chests with them. You can earn up to 4 chests each month. Chest drops recharge at the rate of 1 chest every week, and you cannot accumulate more than 4 chest drops at a given time. You can see how many chest drops you still have available in your summoner profile. You can only earn 1 chest for each champion per season, and you can see which champions you can earn chests on in your profile's champion details page. To unlock these chests, you need a key. After winning any matchmade games, you get a chance to earn key fragments. Three fragments forge into a single key. Playing with friends will give you a higher chance of earning key fragments than going solo. But if you don't own the champion and are using it on free rotation, you cannot earn key fragments with them. You can also buy chests and keys directly from the store, either individually or as a bundle. Don't worry, these purchases do not count towards the limit of chests you can earn for free through Champion Mastery. Do note that there is a daily limit on purchasing chests. So what exactly are in these chests? They contain Champion Shards, Champion Skin Shards, Ward Skin Shards, and Summoner Icon Permanents. No shards for those. Permanents will be automatically added to your inventory unless it is an item that you already own. You don't need additional crafting materials to upgrade them and they operate the same way as shards. Sometimes you will also get bonus components like gemstones and essences on top of those loot. We'll go over these items later. Chests are completely random and can contain loot that might be duplicates of content you already own. Fret not, you'll be able to put them into good use in a variety of ways. You can spend essence to upgrade the shard and unlock the item permanently. The amount of essence you need is tied to the RP value of the particular item you're upgrading. You can also use the shard to rent the item for 7 days. Remember, this will consume the shard you're activating. Or you can disenchant the shard into essence for crafting other items. The amount of essence you get from disenchanting is also tied to the RP value of the item you're disenchanting. Or you can reroll three shards of the same loot type to gain a random permanent unlock. Rerolls will never produce duplicates of anything you have activated or purchased. The product is random and is not tied to the value of the shards you're rerolling. There are two types of essence you need when unlocking content. You primarily get essence by disenchanting shards, though they also have a chance of dropping in chests. Blue essence is currently obtained from and used to upgrade champion shards. And orange essence is obtained from and upgrades everything else in the crafting system, from skin shards to summoner icon shards. Chests also have the very rare chance of dropping gemstones. You can consume one gemstone to forge a chest and key combo that might drop an additional gemstone. Or you can combine 10 gemstones to forge Hextech Annie, a skin that can only be obtained through Hextech Crafting. However, players who are or recently have been chat or ranked restricted or banned from play cannot earn free loot from the system. Once they've reformed, they'll be eligible for rewards again. So remember, play fair and be nice. Every player has been gifted a premium chest upon launch of the loot and hextech crafting system. So good luck and let me know what you got in the comments below.